Welcome back everybody, this is MJ from Off Grid Online. So I've, um, if you've watched my previous videos, I have assembled this solar panel. Um, it is producing voltage, although it's not, you know, the 18 volts, but that's only because I'm using a regular drop light and I don't want to put it out there yet because it's still, you know, I wouldn't want to do that just yet. So what I'm going to do is I am now going to go ahead and um, put the cell sill, which is supposed to, you know, create an epoxy layer that will harden and protect my solar cells. And it's supposed to be clear. It normally, from what I understand, would normally go on the, the surface of the cells, but I am sealing this from the back and I'm using glass for the, for the solar panel. I just felt that it would be better. That I've I've tried a plexiglass uh, application and my plexiglass it it cracked and you know didn't hold up to the heat of the sun. Um, granted, I did not attach the cells to those, but you know it's I felt it would it was worth my money to go ahead and just get uh, glass panes, and I actually didn't have to spend any money. I I, <laughs> I got them from a couple of uh, glass uh, storm doors, so. They happen to be just the right size, so that's what I'm what I'm using, and I've uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. If you want to see how I did the the first part, just click on my videos right here. So I've got a product called Cell Sill, and their website is SolarDYN.com. I will try to put a link in the description. If I forget, please just comment, and uh, I will update it. The um, the product comes with a part A, which is a lot much larger, and a part B. The instructions that they give um, is if you were building one of the the frames that they sell. Apparently, um, I wasn't aware of this. I actually purchased it through uh, eBay, and they were selling just the product. And I got, I believe, six. I got seven of these for. I don't even remember. It's been a minute since I bought it. But anyway, it was a great deal, so I went ahead and bought it, and I'm just now getting to it. Please forgive the the roosters in the background. Uh, I'm living in Tennessee now. I'm very excited about that. So I'm not I'm not used to all the the animal noises in the background. But um, anyhow, the uh, instructions. I am going to experience this um, live on video. I have not done it yet. Um, so I'm just gonna follow the instructions. Um, I have read them through one time. You know that's always a good thing to do, so you kind of prepare ahead. And um, hopefully I've gotten everything that I saw that you need. Uh, it has the preparation and mixing instructions. They send it with their product. Uh, you'll need a clean, flat wooden stick. I got one of those here. Um, flat at the end and that's basically so you can scrape the bottom. What I did on mine just you know I, I kinda put an angle on one of them just in case it's a little hard to get into the corner and I'm probably going to need to cut that a little bit more. Hold on. Here it is. Here's my wooden stick. Um, I have the flat end slightly angled because so, I want to be able to get into the, the edges there. And uh, looks like you know I, I might be able to use this other side too. I, I kind of cut it so that it has like a little bit of a curve, so it can. I just want to try and make sure I get all the way into the bottom of this this thing here. Um, 
it says to you know cheap spatula would work fine also I just this is what I happen to have handy um, a fine brush to work and smooth the base over um, I'm using my purdy um, paintbrush I hate to do that because it's a really great brush but I'll just get another one um, they're a little higher priced than than other ones I probably could have just went and got me another one but I'll just use that one and um, I was going to try this first just to see what it does. Uh, it's, it's a bit coarse, but I don't know. We'll see. It says it's, not, it says it's optional you know, to smooth the base over, so we'll try it like that. So it says to position your solar cell, obviously, where it's easier to, to get to the other side. So you put the long side facing you, which I've done. The instructions say to open the base, which is this one here. So I'll start with that. It had, looks like it's got a. I guess that's to reseal it later or something. I'm not sure, but it says to hold this at a 45, and pour a third of this uh, curing agent into it. So I will do that. Hold it at a 45, and that's about a third. And it says that I should use a folding action, not a stirring, so, and it says to mix it for about one minute, and it does say to go slow, I see I'm, I'm producing bubbles in here, so, it says I'm not supposed to go fast, so let me slow this down a little bit. These bubbles do create pretty quickly and easily, it looks like. Now, on Green Power Science, the one that he got, um, I probably should have done that anyway. Uh, and I'll probably do that with the rest of these, but... You know, it says not to try and mix it in the same container uh, because it won't mix it pr properly all all the way through. And I didn't think about that until just now. So hopefully I won't have any problems with this one. This isn't the same one that he used, of course, but uh, I would imagine that the same mixing theory would apply. So hopefully I'm not going to run into that problem where it doesn't cure it all. Absolutely, this is enough to cover 36 to 40 cells. And since my configuration is 36, I'm uh, hoping that my uh, application will work out just right. Okay, makes sense. It, it recommends that when I start this pouring process, to keep it about 10 inches, 10 to 12 inches above, and to cover only three of the four sides of each cell, and that the the stream should be no thicker than a pencil and I don't seem to be doing this right I don't think this is avoid globs So what I'm doing is I'm going to skip every other 
seam. Oops, shouldn't have done that one. Oh, that one I can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I messed up on that one. Ooh. Okay, so I've used the rest of this and supposedly I can brush the rest. I'm hoping that uh, this doesn't give me the uncured problem that uh, Green Power Science warned us about. It looks like it's spreading out pretty pretty decently. I'm going to go ahead and help it along. Okay, just wanted to make sure that the, the window is level before I let it sit. I'll go ahead and let it sit for, it says three days, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it does need to cure for 3D, where does it say that? Oh, it says full hardening requires four to five days. So, I'm going to let this sit here. It's been sitting here for quite some time anyway, so that's not going to be a big deal. But uh, we'll go ahead and end the video here and we'll see how it does. Thank you for watching. Please rate and comment.